performance and wish you and your family the happiest of holidays. If you happen to be living with a middle or an upper school student, I also want to congratulate you for surviving exam week. Uh, because, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's hard on the whole family. I remember it well. Uh, the, the old flashcards, etc. Anyway, um, many of you were with me on Sunday to enjoy an extraordinary performance of the Messiah. And um, I think it's a, it's a, ter a terrific tradition that the Messiah on Sunday night and tonight's performance bookend a very hectic exam week for our students and for all of us. Because for me personally, I find that both performances create in me a feeling of serenity and peace that's priceless. And I know from watching the faces of the students as they performed on Sunday, and as you'll watch them tonight, you'll see the same effect on them, and that is the power of music. Tonight is uh, one of our most uh, special events of the year at the school, and really that's for two reasons. The first is that this is a tradition that extends back many decades at our school. And in fact, I was following um, Facebook just the other day in exchange of a bunch of alums who graduated in the 1970s, reminiscing about the time that they were carried on the stage on the sole shoulders of the seniors, and also when they got their chance to carry the little ones down there. It's an emotional event that people remember for a long, long time. The other thing that makes it special is that it is one of the unique or few times, perhaps the only time, when we have a school tradition that spans the entire breadth of our school. We got to enjoy our kindergartners here tonight, in a minute, you're going to be listening to the middle school singers. The upper school students will take us from there. And then in the evening, if you stay, you're going to enjoy for the finale dozens of alumni back from college, and some of them with their children who are students today at the school up on stage singing. It's the only thing we have that includes kindergartners all the way through alumni. It makes for a very, very special evening. Um, it's tempting tonight to, as you look at those kindergartners, especially if you're a parent who had a kindergartner in your family who was up on the stage 10 years ago or 12 years ago, to look backwards, or as you see these uh, college graduates up here later, to look forward to the promise of college. But um, I challenge myself on this night to block all of that out and simply focus on this remarkable evening, these students, and this moment, this moment that is powerful, this moment that is unique, it's a moment of beauty, and it's a moment that is far too fleeting. So join me to sit back and enjoy a wonderful evening of music. Thank you very much.
last piece the chorale has uh, to sing, and then we move on into inviting our alumni up to stage and uh, have them perform with us. Um, you know, this week is always just an amazing week to me, year after year, and here it is uh, my seventh experience of finals week at Pembroke Hill, and it's always just amazing to me when I think of what our students go through and what they do uh, during this week where it started with an amazing performance of Handel's Messiah, the 53rd performance of Handel's Messiah at Pembroke Hill. This year we did it at Visitation Church on Sunday and it was absolutely spectacular. Then they dive right into finals, finish finals this afternoon, and look, they look great, they look energized, and they're giving a great performance tonight. Please, congratulate these guys. is one of my absolute favorite moments of every single year here at Pembroke Hill where we get to see familiar faces and it's just a reminder of what an amazing and special family the Pembroke Hill family is. And so I'd like to take a moment to invite our alums to kind of, uh, come on up here and sing with us and, uh, and sing a little winter song in peace peace. Welcome.
season. Thank you so much for being here with us.